Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. Where we left off last time, we were exploring the, ooh, I just went flying away there, the bottom levels of the Tenebra's Deaths. So far, we have found a trap. It's a very quick trap. I'm really hoping the dragon is the enemy. In the alternative, what the hell is that thing? That's a fly trap, whatever. Uh, I'm hoping that the like there's a really cool demon or something yeah. as the big enemy. I sell for either one, honestly. Everyone's charging because we hopefully will have a better initiative than the poison flytrap, although it's not looking great for that. Everyone's going after it, so I guess we're probably gonna take some hits. Unless we kill it the first round, which is possible, just not likely. Uh, we can cast Flame Strike, I guess. Maybe? Are we in range? No, we're not. Shoot. Oh, well, I don't think we're gonna be able to kill it this round. It's gonna hit us. Though it only hit once, so I'm not too concerned about that. And it's dead. 960 experience. And some garbage loot. Really garbage loot, actually. Like, really awful. Anything else in this room that is notable? No? Just a very boring room. Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, red caps. Not the worst thing to come up. The red caps are sort of just a. Oh my god, they're all grouping up. What AoE abilities do we even have nowadays, though? We don't have a whole lot of AoE capability. Okay, we need haste, first of all. And our song. Can it be my turn now? Alright, we do have a flame strike, which actually does do AoE. And I might just target it right on top of Valerie. She'll take the hit, probably. Actually, she didn't. Although it didn't do a whole lot of damage anyways. I mean, a few hundred damage, but just not enough to, like, do as much as we wanted it to. Uh, Canera should be able to do a pretty neat AoE too, though. We killed one. We charge. Can we five foot step in? I hope so. Yes. Yes, we can. Oh. Oh, we moved forward like a half inch. Alright. Let's go over here. To like here or so. And then we're gonna do... We could do Deadly Earth, which is fine, but we're gonna actually do this one. Worked out pretty well. Except for those tricksters who haven't taken any damage. Knock knock. Probably can't five foot step in, but we'll try. Oh, he totally can. <laughs> he just kills like three of them, no big deal. Two of them were even uninjured, so he killed two from full life and one that was already injured. It's a lot of red caps though. We took some mild damage, nothing significant. Not even worth healing, really. Alright, the door is here. It doesn't look like there's any secret doors or anything. Without a doubt. This room is very cool looking. There is one door there. And just some random junk. Our path leads on. Ooh, any sort of traps in this room? Not that I can see. And let's save. It's always good to save every once in a while, just you know, just in case. Smell it on like treants. Two of them, three of them. Oh 
god, this is the worst place to fight them, too. Okay, I'm gonna delay. Not in turn. Damn it, I hit the wrong button. Delay. Delay. I'm gonna wait for them to come to us a little bit. And delay. Okay, one's coming in. Bring it. Tear them Should've charged. Did not- ooh, there's four of them at least. Alright, run surprise round. I'm actually going to... Um, what do I want to do with him? Switch bows. Strike as one. Maybe. Uh, she's going to move to intercept the other three that are coming in. Taste my fury. She needs to tank them. One of them's almost dead, though. No. Okay. I love how the two combat musics are playing at once. You Still. It. I have no idea why that is happening. Okay, so they have a pretty good chance to hit. They have plus 28 attack modifier, which is pretty high. Oh no, Amiri, that was the worst possible position you could have moved to. Well, she didn't die this turn. Such is the risk when you uh, charge, I guess. One solid hit. Oh crap, did I just accidentally do a thing? Oh, no, okay. <laughs> hit a button, because I played in windowed mode so I can see how long the recording is going on for. And I thought I hit X on the game and I was like, wait, did this let me just quit the game by accident? No, it's fine. Just minimized it. It's all fine. Everything's good. No problems. I had a moment of momentary panic. Also, this fight was easier than I anticipated. I thought that these things would be a little bit tougher, honestly. Any loot? Any hidden doors? And yes, a hidden door. And a trap. Shiny thing. I did it. I did. Okay, go around this corner, nice and easy. Another door. And the door has an immense mandragora in it, but no mandragora. This is where I, I don't know how to describe them. Swarmlings. Which is a-okay with me, because those things are extremely annoying. The Mandragore does hit really- oh, he does have swarms. They're up here. Shit. God, I oh, there's so many of them. Oh, this is bad news for us. Um, okay, we're gonna be dealing with a- just an absolute ton of ability drain. Don't let them get too close. Alright, we need to figure this out right now, basically. Because they get to go before a lot of our group does. And she can't do anything about it, so. What's the range on his blade barrier? That might help. Did hit them, or hit one of them, anyways. We're probably gonna have to go do a bunch of restorations and stuff after this, anyways, so. Lindsay. They have tons of life, too. Like, they're really strong. Not not used to lighting enemies on fire first. Here they come. We we're gonna take so much stat drain. In fact, our Smilodon may just straight up die after this whole thing, but we'll see. Knock Knock is officially dead. 
I think because he got drained to yeah, he's at one dex one. You know what? It doesn't really matter at this point if we hit our group members because that's the sort of situation we're in. We just need to win this fight. Their ability drains are insanely high. They all saved their throws, basically. They have plus 22 to reflex. That is really unfortunate for us. Some of them got sucked into the thing, I think. It's hard to tell. If everyone dies in our group, but we manage to win this fight, I'll be okay. We can res them all. We have the ability to res everything. Everything will be fine. They saved their throws, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, whoops, didn't mean to move, but that's fine. Nope. Didn't do anything. Are they immune to it? Probably. Immune to destruction. Everything's immune to destruction. It's kind of annoying. So it looks like Knock Knock is the only one that's gonna die. And possibly Amiri, who's now actually inside the ruin, I think. He is fine, actually. Is this the last one? I think it is. No, it's not. The rest of them are just inside this portal-y thing. Let's just move everyone else away. They'll all die inside there, hopefully. We can't do anything about them, they're actually just literally in there for now. Amiri is now inside, though, so she's gonna die too. They're healing while they're inside there. Oh, that's really stupid. Now we have to wait for it to end. Even though they're taking no damage, really. Are they still healing? I can't tell. I have no idea how many rounds they're stuck in there for. We'll cast Ray's Dead after this. We'll just go up to the top. Come on, hop out. There they are, they're back out now. They are injured but not dead. Is it just the one swarm? Maybe just the one swarm. Okay. Alright, we won, technically. That was a very bad room. I don't think we can use Breath of Life, because I think that their ability drained to death. Yeah, it's more than two rounds. Um. We do have spells. Do we have Raised Dead learned? I don't think we do. We're gonna have to go upstairs and learn it. Why are we moving so slow? Oh, we we're probably super encumbered right now, aren't we? Yeah, we're in heavy encumbrance. Thanks to everyone being dead. We can just rest down here, I guess. We also found a Dark Revelation hat. Plus four, or plus six wisdom, and plus one to divination spells. We're gonna learn two Raised Dead spells. We have a bunch of diamonds, and they don't really matter at this point of the game anyways, because we have so much money that doesn't make any difference. Um, where is it? Raised Dead is a level 5 spell? Yes. Alright, we'll lose 
one of those. We'll lose true seeing because we don't use it very often. Yeah. Alrighty. Just uh, can't rest here, of course not. Alright, what we'll do is in the best efforts of trying to get out of this dungeon, not in like eight years. We'll make ourselves a giant and hopefully that'll let us move faster. Are we back in medium encumbrance now? The answer to that is no. No, we're not. I guess we could try and up the strength damage of Valerie at least. Give the How close are we to being able to run? Oh, we're in medium encumbrance. Why are we walking so slow then? Oh, there we go. Sorry. Slow mo was on. I don't know why it kicks in sometimes. It just does. But if you hit V and then spacebar, it seems to clear it up. I was wondering, because it seemed like we should be able to walk normally now. We'll head out the portal. We will quickly heal up. Raise dead. We'll rest twice, basically. We're going to rest once to get the spells. We'll rest once again to... Or rest once to get the spells, cast the spells, then rest again to uh, heal everyone up to maximum and have everything set up for later. Also, freaking hate swarms. Ability drains are super annoying. Also, those ones have like a couple hundred hit points. They have a lot of life. Uh, before we rest, though, where are you going? Just stay there. Let's at least get rid of this. I don't know why death doesn't get rid of strength damage. It seems like it really should, being as you know, they're die or they're dead. So, all right. We probably even had a race dead scrolls. I probably should just use those, but oh well, too late now. Oops, that wasn't the right spell. And then we have to cast restoration on them. Longest spells in the world. Losing diamonds. Okay, knock knocks up to par, and so is Valerie. And then we quickly rest. Because casting heal twice takes too long. We rested a whole day, that seems silly. It's literally two heal spells and then an eight hour rest, but whatever. Not important. Let's go back down and see if we can finish this dungeon up. We should go finish exploring that room that we were into. Even though I did like the little hat we got, I want to see if there's anything else. Why is there squeaking sounds like there's more Mandragora swarms? swarms. Of all the enemies in the game, I think my hierarchy of hate is specters, because they do range touch attacks, or not range touch attacks, but touch attacks that do negative level drains, and then swarms that deal ability score damage. Alright, I guess that was it for this room. Just the giant Mandragore and his billion swarms. That one had a lot of swarms compared to the last one. Like, the last one had two, I think. Two or three, maybe. But not, like, seven, I think it was. Please don't let there be more Mandragore swarms. Oh, no, it's red caps. How many... Why did the screen vaguely shake a little? What is that thing? What? Oh, there's a wild hunt archer in here. Uh, that makes this slightly more annoying. Can you charge into this room? Can you charge that guy? Yes, you can. You see that? That's fine. Just go tank that guy, I guess. Oh, knock, knock, no. Well, at least we can probably heal him. Are we going to set off this trap? That's the question. If I charge to here, maybe? I can't even charge there, so let's not charge in, and let's just move in nicely until knock, knock can come lockpick this, or we can just kill him from this angle. Uh, move up. Take a shot at the wild hunt archer. 
don't care about the red cap savage too much. Honestly, not too worried. We can cast heal on Knock Knock to keep him alive. He's a okay now. We're gonna move Canara forward. I don't know if she's gonna be in range of the wild hunt archer. Not quite, no. So she's got knockdown on. Let's use it on the red cap. Knock it down. Knock knock is not doing anything. Oh, he's paralyzed. Fine, whatever. It doesn't matter. And there goes the wild hunt archer. A thousand experience. All right, we took away for knock knock to be unparalyzed to undo this trap. I like how when they turn, they don't take a step backwards away from the trap. They like move forwards like a car and like turn the corner. Lindsay, can you do this trap actually? Maybe you have pretty good trickery. Not like knock knocks, but still. Anything else? Yeah, there we go. What do we get from the wild hunt archer? A literal just composite longbow. Super. Thanks for. Thanks for nothing. Really, that's what it boils down to. Because that is awful. Don't care too much about the dead red cap, to be honest. And what do we got in this room? This is a giant room. A wild hunt monarch. Wonderful. And it's standing on a platform, making it way more annoying to get to. Is it just the one wild hunt guy, though? Why did I move Lindsay all the way up there? That was very silly. Also, Canara didn't get to move. Why? She's confused. Super. We shall overcome. We missed. We need to go this way. Stairs are on this side, apparently. Oh, it's a surprise round. Gotcha. Okay. Everyone's going this way. Well then. Monarch gets to go first, but then Lindsay gets to go, and hopefully, if she's not feared or confused or doing something stupid, she will get to do something useful. But now we have extra wild hunt guys here. Good. That's what I wanted to have happen, and Lindsay is paralyzed, so she's not doing anything either. I can't target the summoned guys for some reason. But the best I can do is just get my Smilodons into the battle. Can they actually hit? Probably not. This turn. This is a little bit unfortunate of a situation. Like, their positioning is really unfortunate for us. Alright. At least she's punching things and not doing anything useful. Come on. Oh, she's they have 42 armor, okay. Fair enough. Good damage. Alright. Let's try and kill some of these guys. Didn't even kill one. Can you not hit that one on the ground? No? Can you hit anything? Super. Guess not. How's our life doing? Lindsay's gonna die, probably. Okay. Start taking out these archers. Or not. Amir, you got this monarch, right? Did you have to move a, like a half a step? Seriously? Oh, you're attacking the monarch, I see. I was like, why aren't you killing the one on the ground? But that actually kind of makes sense. It is really unfortunate. Oh. Oh, Lindsay, no. We're not doing that. I'm not going all the way back to the capital to pick up Lindsay. That's incredibly stupid. We're not doing that. That is the most annoying thing. Because now, in order to get back, we have to go back to the capital. Or go outside and hit the button and summon her. But that takes days of our game. We're not doing that. Lindsay's just not going to move forward like that. I don't know why I moved her forward. I thought it was knock-knock, honestly, because they're both very short people. That was my bad.
We should have saved too. Ah, oh, I didn't think about it. I'm more angry at myself. Because we still have to kill that wild hunt archer in this room too with a trap. But I'll go do that. You know what? I'll just do that fight really quickly and we'll get back to this matriarch fight and then we'll... Or yeah, matriarch fight and we'll finish it up. Alrighty, we're back to fight the monarch again. It's a monarch, not a matriarch, but whatever. Same just thing. Letting the ink dry. We're gonna cast and haste so to start with. I really wish I'd stop misclicking things. Lindsay, no, I don't want you there. And Lindsay was called forth. There we go. Alright, we're opening the door and we're going in. Haste should be enough to finish this fight alone. Okay, so we're gonna cast Bless. And our Smelodon's gonna go up here. Might even be able to reach him in one turn. Yes, kind of. Knock Knock is already confused or feared or something. Ooh, that's the wrong person. Flames take you. But she can go over there. Amiri needs to get up here. Valerie also needs to get up here. Second Smilodon might be able to get in on this fight, but I'm not entirely sure. Lindsay needs to move forward and cast her song next turn. <laughs> okay, we have our summons out. Our Smilodon moved and died immediately. Super, because it got feared or whatever it was. Great. I'm not loving how, like, we can't get into range of this guy. Maybe we need to use our barrier, actually. I don't think Knock Knock is gonna get a turn, or Canera. Like, half of our group just doesn't get turns. We missed almost all of our attacks. Why are we rolling so incredibly badly? Oh, they have concealment. That makes them even more annoying, I see. Can't get into the fight there. Lindsay can't move. At least Valerie is, like, unhittable. But Amiri is not, and she's getting pounded by that other archer that we can't seem to hit because of concealment. I think it's because she's blinded, actually. Almost killed him. Valerie, please do something useful. Thank you. Almost killed someone. Can't do anything. We're dead. Oh, maybe not. Our smell don't get out to do things unless it dies immediately. Which it almost did. And now it's feared. Okay. They took out Amiri just for the hell of it. Okay, we need our barrier up. There's no way we can do this, because, like, the... Whatever confusion aura, or... Whatever it is... Is just super annoying. Alright, so if we go in, get our surprise around and then cast the barrier right away. I think it'll be okay. I'll try that out anyways. Uh, we need haste. Okay, get in here. Enough so that we can see him. Maybe a little bit more forward. Okay. Abilities. Like here -ish? Come on. I don't know if he's technically inside of it, but at least he is not, not hopefully in range. On fire first. Be easier if you not fight back. I don't know if our Smilodon's gonna make it there, but that's fine. Canera can stay inside the bubble this time, which is nice. Might be able to make it up. Yeah. Alright. Lindsay 
did not fail her save, or did not succeed on her saving throw. What is the DC on this thing? 26. Even with plus 21, we still need to roll 5. That is brutally high. And we're outside of the range of it. Good. She's gonna get killed on that one, but whatever. Oh, uh, what can we do? Oh, this is a surprise round. Okay. Knock, knock. Get in there. We can actually do some... Nope. Bias Melodon. Of course. Uh, can we knock him sky down? That might be useful. We did knock him down. Valerie, can you get in here? Lindsay can't do anything. He didn't cast his summon, which is kind of nice. I wonder if he's going to summon next turn. But, on the bright side, we've got him surrounded this time. God, I hate monarchs. We need like two more levels to deal with these. Effectively. Just stay over there. It's fine. I'll take it. Good enough. 8600 experience. We're like way below the level we're supposed to be fighting these things at. These are like level 18 or 19 things to fight. Why can't we loot the body? Oh, it's because Knock Knock is supposed to be looting the body, but I think he's paralyzed. He definitely is paralyzed. We got a Glaive plus three and a lore check. I have managed. Which gave us something, and we got some loot here, which is something. Without breaking it. The important one is a belt of physical perfection, which is actually not that important. Not as important as I thought it was going to be. And I think that's the end of the level, finally. Oof. Tough place. I have a feeling it's only going to get worse from here. Are you confused right now? How long does that last for? Oh, it's off, I think. Alright, good enough then. Down we go. So like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. We'll be continuing down into the depths of the Tenebrous Depths. Take care.